Aisha, your magazine, Sweet July, highlights change makers, which I just love. And then we heard about a flower shop in Oklahoma City that was changing the lives of the homeless in their community. And then we thought, maybe this is a perfect match. Absolutely. Okay. Just the Let's meet them. Take a look. Hi, Drew. My name is Rania. And I'm Jordan. We've been friends since elementary school, and together we run Curbside Flowers. Back on Valentine's Day in 2016, we, along with the Homeless Alliance, had the idea to start creating and selling bouquets of flowers as a way to provide work and income to people in our city experiencing homelessness. We've received so much love and support from the community, and at the same time, we are raising awareness and putting a face to the issue of homelessness in Oklahoma City. We want to help people see someone beyond just the problem that they faced. Flowers are beautiful, and so are people. And if we work together as a community, we can help our neighbors in their homelessness. Thanks, Drew. Can't wait to talk to you soon. Wow, uh, Rania and Jordan are joining Aisha and I now. Hi, guys. Hi, Aisha. Hi. Hi. Hi, you guys. So cool. nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming here today. Your operation looks just beautiful. Can you um, explain the impact um, that your organization is having on your community right now. Um, Curbside Flowers is a program of the Homeless Alliance, and we operate just like any traditional flower shop, but we are a nonprofit and we employ people transitioning out of homelessness in our community. So we are helping remove barriers to employment for folks so that they can earn income, build job skills, and regain stability in their lives. We have also teamed up with a local college so that our participants can earn um, certifications, which is such an incredible experience for them. We employ 10 people in our flower shop year round, but seasonally at Valentine's Day, like this week, we get to hire additional employees. So this Valentine's Day, we are working with 45 additional people working to end their Wow. And Jordan, you have a goal this Valentine's Day, right? We do. Our goal was to hit 2,000 bouquets. Um, and we are just a few hundred away from that. What you guys are doing is so incredible um, and inspiring. Um, and you guys yourselves are change makers. And so I, I feel like we, we wanted to help you guys, you know, meet that goal, right, Drew? Yes, absolutely, Aisha. Um, Rania, this Valentine's Day, you set a goal of the 2,000 bouquets and you said you were a few hundred off, right? Yes, we're a couple hundred away from meeting that at this moment. Well, Aisha and I would like to buy two bouquets and um, we'd like to pay $5,000 for those bouquets um, just so that you have um, a little extra to get you where you need to go. And we're gonna feature you on the DrewBarrymore.com website to drive traffic to you um, this Valentine's Day. Thank you guys so much. So, so much. And, and that is incredible. Thank you so, so much. Excellent. And Aisha, you know, when I look at your and Steph's body of work in the philanthropic category, it is dauntingly incredible the impact you are having on you know, the world at large, your country and your community. Uh, what is maybe when you do a change maker highlight in your magazine, do you have any suggestions for someone who just wants to do one thing um, yeah. in maybe their community? Absolutely. I feel like people always feel like it needs to be so big and grandiose and it really doesn't. I, I truly believe in the cup of sugar model. So, you know, bringing that neighbor a cup of sugar, the small, a small act like that. So any small little thing that you can do to help out your community, because that person in turn is going to bake a cake that's going to feed the community and so on and so forth. And so it really is a domino effect where one small step to change can really actually make a huge difference. And so never feel like any act of kindness or change is too small. I so agree. Also, ladies, um, Rania and Jordan, I heard that um, you guys like flower homes, so I wanted to give you a $1,000 gift card because, you know, flower, flower, flower. 
Thank you so much. So, so much. That will definitely go to good use in our office space. <laughs> Perfect. I just want to thank you guys for joining Aisha and I. And please go to our website at thedrewmarymarshow.com to learn more about curbside flowers. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. And um, Aisha, I, yes. I have really been looking forward to meeting you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it so much. And, and you've inspired me. Um, and so I appreciate, I appreciate the kind words. And Sweet July Spring Issue is out today. It is just incredible. The full plate also, best cookbook ever, is yeah. available now. You probably already own it. Um, but if you're in the Bay Area, stop by Aisha's Sweet July shop. And for more information on Eat, Learn, Play, um, go to our website on the drewberrymorshow.com. We'll have that all up there. And um, before we all go, we have another Galentine's Day treat. All of our VFFs are getting a $100 Spa Finder gift card that can be redeemed for spa services and salons nationwide found on spafinder.com. So happy Valentine's Day and thank you, Spa Finder. Aisha, thank you for being here, it's a real honor.